Everyone can have a dream, but not everyone can raise high spirits. In the midst of the vortex of darkness, crime is often taken for granted. Doing for a hope which is no longer complained but fought for. How can young people be silent when the authorities are poor role models? Today's youth must step in and do real work to answer the Indonesian universe. Don't get tired of talking about the truth so that democracy doesn't end in vain. Many young people fall because of corruption. They forget their vision and drift away from worldly pleasures. The aroma of spices that invites colonialism, a long suffering that leads to nationalism. Speaking of politics as a policy debate, not the gossip of elites fighting for power. Dare to appear against the current. Break the falsehood that is already serious. Start instilling sensitivity to others and reduce selfishness in yourself. Education is the beginning of change. Without education there is no civilization. Even though college is the highest college one can achieve, we can learn from various things, including experience. Our country is very diverse. It takes tolerance to find a middle way to deal with differences. As a young generation who cares about the country and nation, be a reformer so that your life is more meaningful. Don't play with your own destiny. Go all out even when it's the first thing you're going to do. Young people, let's change our orientation without being trapped in a lifestyle piling up material things, living a simple honest life, rejecting instant roads justifies all means. We are stronger than we can imagine. About winning or losing, don't tell me now we'll fight first. So be a reformer, let others imitate. Instead of following trends endlessly, life can be exhausted without ever being filled. Learning is certainly a necessity that should not be ignored, but it is a loss if learning is limited to lectures so that power does not law, so that ideals do not run aground from the beginning. What's the point of an area as wide as Sabang to Morocco if the youth lose their idealism? It's okay to compromise with the situation. Just post a line that shouldn't be crossed. Democracy is not to serve the rulers. Democracy is aimed at glorifying citizens. Don't be fooled by the heat of the debate, the behavior of attacking each other in the honorary council. We don't need to worry too much as long as the leadership is running full of openness. We need to learn from such a clear history, reduce political noise that is often classless, being an official means serving the people. That's a government that will get respect. Keeping the country from the dark eyes of power. Siding with every real problem of citizens. An official who likes to seek rent by selling. His country has basically destroyed him. Greed and foolishness have indeed punished. Those who are drunk on power and forget themselves. The youth of the past spark the will to unite. Today celebrate Indonesia without hesitation. Because age can be meaningless in the field of power. If from a young age you have strayed from the goal. History will blacken those who deserve to be brought down. History will exalt those who deserve to be glorified not easily angered because the public is diligent 
and demanding working with absolute dedication. Youth is the capital to keep your hands clenched, to navigate the steep political field. Human life is no tragedy of spectacle and statistics. Yes, it is better not to fly than never to arrive. Leadership that is persistent at work will definitely produce visible changes, solve problems in real terms, not just a rhetorical spice. In a corruption emergency, state officials keep stealing one after another. As many corruptors go to prison as much as their regeneration undermines the state, the face of prison mirrors the laws of the land, real or fake, on the shoulders of a leader who is free from corruption. Therein lies the future of the country. Justice is a difficult thing when the law only stands for those who pay. The comfort zone always brings calm. Not everyone is ready to face shocks. The establishment is the main enemy for the leader to change the city. Truth and certainty float between. Money and power that surrounds. Schools need to continue to open up to change. Teachers don't hesitate to adapt to new things. Rules can often be circumvented, but the principles of propriety and ethics should not be betrayed. Nationalism is not a dead slogan, but a collective sacrifice to defend a vision. Building works in silence, sincerely, out of love for the country. Because we have to run fast, before it's too late. Even though we have limited time, we should continue to make changes for future progress. Start instilling sensitivity to others and reduce selfishness in yourself. Education is the beginning of change. Without education, there is no civilization. Young people who want to live a simple, honest life and are not stuck with material things are the hope of the nation. Many people have long titles, but are less sensitive and reluctant to contribute to the environment. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more video.